Welcome to Bashua's Moment with Pastor Charles Chiaga. Praise the Lord, brethren. We are back again on our program, The Pursuer's Moment. And I want uh, you to invite another person and tell them our program has come. So you could pause anything that would distract you. And in these few minutes, God is going to speak to us. I'm standing here on this mountain uh, called Zion Pursuer's Prayer Mountain, a mountain that is ready waiting for you to come and seek God which was dedicated by the network of God seekers called Pursuers. So the Pursuers Network dedicated this site and gave it out to everybody, to our generation, and gave, gave it as a site to seek God. And we gave it to God and we told him, come and abide here, come and abide amongst us, and come and be God amongst us. And ever since we did that, there is an overwhelming presence on this mountain, an open heaven, a grace, that, that is difficult to explain, that is on this mountain. So I encourage you, those of you who are hearing me from Uganda, and even those of you who are hearing me from wherever you are, whenever you have a chance to come down here in Uganda, don't miss coming down here. I know you will be blessed, you will be blessed when you come here to connect back to your Creator, to connect back to God. And uh, I want to remind you, uh, today is a Friday, and every Friday we have a vow, we have a commitment to God that we have an altar here, we have a prayer vigil the whole night. We spend the whole night praying. So we have an altar, you better come and join us. But you can come on your own, in your own programs. This is a program that we do together, but please come on your own. You can come as a family, you can have a, come as a church or as a department of your, at your workplace, you can come as a school. School. Uh, if you are in college, you can come here. And uh, and I know like the uh, Mobs is coming. Is going to have a, a camp here of many many of them here. So this is what this site is about. Come and let us seek the Lord. Come and let us get back to God. And I want to remind you as well, we are going to have a, a, a conference during the independence, uh, the independence holiday on the 9th of October. But this time is called uh, uh, Dependence on God Conference. Dependence on God Conference. So much as we are talking about independence, for us we are talking about dependence. Dependence on God. We want to tell God we are dependent on you. We don't want to be independent of you. We want to be dependent on you. But we want to be independent of the devil. We want to be independent of all evils. We want to be independent of any negative thing that draws us away from you. And we want to be dependent on you. So that is what this conference is going to be about. I encourage you on the 9th of October, come and we spend the whole day from morning to evening. We are going to be here learning and we are going to be here praying, worshiping and drawing closer to God. So yesterday we looked at the garden God, God created for man and he put there everything there is good for man. He picked every choice tree that man needed. Eh? Every fruit, every, every flower, everything. And he put it into that garden. Eh? And then he said, he put that garden uh, east of Eden. This word Eden from the original language means the presence of God. So which means God put provisions for man in a place that he knew he would become. He would, he, would, he would be what he created him to be. And that place where he needed him to be is called the presence of God. Eden, from the original language, means the presence of God. So when he created, he put man in his presence. He knew that man would function properly in his presence. Environment is very important for anything. When you put a fish in water, you have given it its rightful environment for it to be able to survive and thrive. But when you pull it out of water, eh, and you want to put it, even if you put it in a, in a sofa set, and you make it sit in a chair, it will not be living. It will be gasping for life. So outside the presence of God, we are just gasping. We are just struggling. We are just surviving. We only start thriving in the presence of God, in the right environment. When the environment is right, we can become. Verses 9, and out of the garden, and out of the ground, the Lord made every tree grow that is present to the sight and good for food. The tree of life 
was also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil was in there. So my brother, God created a garden. In his presence, he put all the provisions. So whatever you need in life, whatever you need to become, who you are created to become, when you are in the presence of God, it shall be provided. On his, on his mountain, it shall be provided. Is our Jehovah Jireh. In his presence, he provides. So let us draw back to the presence of God. I encourage you tonight to join us as we do the prayer vigil tonight. God bless you. Eyo yeba de pasiwas moment ngikutusidwa ke somalia pasiwas junior school eri sangibwa mu butambala ku kobali ampiji gombe kati ulire nkize eriwo singo twalo mwana ku pasiwas junior school interviews za bwedeli esomero limiride ku msinjo gutya katonda atengo mwana agunjulwa bakugu tutumbule bitone byenja ulu mu mwana tulina amazza mayinjo ku somero atengo mwana wasomera ne wiyibaka abanga mu kongo india yaba yizi nunji byansoso anti emere tujirimira ngane famu yete weli ku somero tulina motoke zitambuza abana pasiwas junior school ebutambala Tusomesa abana okuva mu baby class okutuka ku kibine ekyo musanvu mudene boarding okumanya ebisinga wo zero musanvu musanvu biri ana muemu kyenda munana ana ne zero musanvu zero biri asatu mukaga ana muemu nkaga munya pasiwa junior school butambala in pursuit of knowledge 